Folks, we're back. This has been one of the longest, coldest, snowiest winters in a long time. I'm happy to say, finally, spring is here. <laughs> Only problem is, <laughs> Chicago didn't get the memo. <laughs> But we're out in the plaza with a friend of mine, my buddy. Please welcome Chef Bayless. Yeah, thank you so much. How you doing, man? I'm just great. Good it's springtime. Springtime it grilling. Springtime grilling. And don't you think we need to have a recipe for it? I, I want to hear it because my wife is the best cook in the family. Okay. I'm the best griller in the family. Oh, okay. So if I can pick up a new hot grilling tip. That'll really kind of give me some brownie. Okay, points. I got I got two tips. Uh, one's a recipe tip, and one's just a how to grill chicken kind right. of tip. Okay. So this is a really sort of light dish for springtime, but it's so jam packed with flavor. Okay? okay. So this is something that comes from the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The first thing that we got to do is to make a marinade for it. In the blender, I have a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to add okay. to that a whole bunch of garlic, but roasted garlic. So it's sweet garlic, not okay. strong garlic. Put it into the microwave covered with plastic. And about 30 seconds is all it takes to actually cook it and really? make it taste like sweet roasted garlic. Okay. So it's a very simple thing. And I'm going to put all of that into the blender jar with that vinegar that's in there. Now, here's the kicker. This is where all the flavor comes in. We have all these different herbs and spices here. We've got some cinnamon, black pepper, some oregano. This is Mexican oregano, all spice, sugar, and salt. And those are all going to go into the blender. And that's this is oregano. Sort of like, yeah, oregano that... Uh, well, in yeah, all the if, if you're spices, watching in too. Colorado, yes, that's oregano. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you specified that. Yeah, I, I mean, just want to make sure. We need to know those things. Okay. <laughs> Last thing that's going to go into the blender jar is some olive oil. So we're making a vinegar and oil thing with a lot of garlic and a lot of spices and herbs. Then you blend this thing, and it would take about a minute or so to just blend okay, it, blend good. it, blend it until it's completely smooth. Pour it over some chicken. I like to let it sit for about an hour to get, permeate all those beautiful spices and herbs Only takes into an hour. that. Yeah, it is, because it's going to mostly go into the okay. skin on the outside. Half of it went into this pot, which I'll come back to in a minute. But I think it's time for us to go over to the grill now, and let's talk grilling chicken. Let's start grilling okay. chicken. <laughs> let's go, ladies. We're going grilling. <laughs> OK, so. We got beautiful grilled chicken here. Yeah. <laughs> we have built a fire on this side of it. So all the heat is over here. Grilling chicken I like to do right off of the heat. So I'm going to take the chicken that we have marinated here, and I'm going to put it right on this part of the grill here. So you like to grill it off of the heat? Off of the heat. OK, that I've never done. I have to say that chicken skin burns really fast. Yeah, it does. So it does. that's why I will put it away from the heat like that, and we're going to let it cook over on this side. I'll turn it. I'll flip it. But you never move it until it releases itself from the grill. And then you flip it over. OK, so we've got these beautiful grilled chicken breasts over here. Now, for springtime, asparagus is my choice here. But this is a kind of Four Seasons dish. So you, you grab it. This is kind of a little bit hard here. OK, so I'm going to lay that grilled chicken breast, beautiful grilled chicken breast there. And you notice that these are all the way away from the fire. That's I for the it. last sort of coasting. The last, just so, okay? letting it, yeah. Right. Then so let's go, go back, back over, over here, here, and I'll we're show you. We're going back where it's spring, it's, folks. Yeah. <laughs> it's spring under the tent. It's sure ain't spring out there. I can tell you that. No, no, no. Oh, but it looks springy in here. It okay? looks great. It looks beautiful. This is the other half of that beautiful marinade that I simmered with a little bit of chicken broth. And then I'm going to spoon that over the top. That'll be the flavoring that goes down on that beautiful asparagus yeah. there. And then, if you like spice, do you like spicy? Yeah, yeah, I like oh, okay, spicy. Okay, good. So this is a roasted green chili salsa made with jalapenos. I think probably everybody in this room or in this area right here would like to have a little bit of that right now. I like to put a little bit of cilantro on top of it, so I've got some cilantro leaves to go on it, sprinkle those yeah. over the top yeah. of it for freshness. Yeah. And there you have a very yeah, simple, nice, Rick. really real nice. jam-packed. <laughs> yeah, let's go and see what's I really happening here. I noticed you didn't take any time at all to, like, uh, get Rick, into that. See, I get that. it all in. Let's yeah, get some of that yeah. on now. I love cilantro. You got it all. You got it all. Let's put a little bit of that little chili yeah, okay. on there, just good, a little good, bit. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now, um, my mouth is watering. I hope yours is watering. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. 
Okay, Rick. You got something else going on this spring. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know, the National Restaurant Association has the big restaurant show in Chicago in the middle of May. And I'm going to be May. doing a bunch of demonstrations and panels there. But I have to say it's just one of my favorite times of the year because we get to host over 100,000 restaurant people in our town. We get to show off our fabulous uh, restaurants here in this town, our beautiful weather. I mean, we get a chance to do everything Stop. here. <laughs> Taking them too fast, Rick. Okay. <laughs> Let's just show them how great of a food town okay, this food is. Food town, food town. <laughs> this is great. Rick, I tell you, man, with the 10th season of his hit series, Mexico, one plate at a right. time. If you want any of these recipes, head over to steveharveytv.com. I got to tell you, man, good luck to you. Thank good you luck so much. Good luck this year. Great, Thank you. great job, man. Nice. Great recipe, okay? That's so nice. Thanks Thank you so much. We'll be right back, folks.